and change the OBS window. Okay, all right, here we go. Go live. Do it. Let's go. Okay. So what we're going to do today is this episode is going to be all about superpowers. Okay. So superpowers, I want to hear from you lovely people, what you would actually uh, have as a superpower. Okay. Because some superpowers, uh, you know, maybe you can shoot stuff from your hands. Maybe you can shoot stuff telekinetically or control stuff like the force and throw things around. Maybe you can even change yourself. So maybe you're able to, you know, change yourself into stone or like fire. Or maybe you can change yourself into some sort of animal. If you could, what sort of animal would you change into? Or... Maybe you can even control animals. Maybe you can like telepathically connect with them and go, go my little bunnies, go and attack everybody. <laughs> so we're going to be talking about superpowers today and let's have a look right now down here at all of the different types of superpowers that are out there. Okay, because I didn't make this, but some absolute maniac has done a full on table. Look at this, look at this. Look at all these superpowers that are out there. This isn't even the half of it, right? You've got, you can change your body. You can alter your size. Oh, like Ant-Man, you can grow or shrink in size. You could, oh, you could control animals. Like we said, there's animal powers, force control. There's like mastery, weapons-based, time. You can slow down time and speed it up so that you could go really super fast. You can enchant objects. There are like, thousands of superpowers out there so i want to know from you you can write it down in the comment section you don't have to do it while we're live you can uh do it if you're watching this another time uh what sort of superpowers would you have would you just have one and that's your speciality or can you do a, a few things all right i mean personally i'd have some superpowers but of course flight that doesn't even count flight's a given i'm going to be able to fly of course i'm going to be able to fly um so, today, we are going to have a bit of a draw together, and you're going to put yourself on the cover of an actual comic. We're going to do this together, okay? Not only are you going to be smack bang on the cover of your very own comic, but you're going to have a big headline up the top. You can even put a price on your comic so people can buy it off you, and then open it and go, it's just one page, there's nothing in here. Or you could draw a comic later based on your awesome cover we're about to do so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna play a little game and it's kind of like spot the difference but this one's gonna be spot the similarities are you ready are you spaghetti let's have a look together okay this right here is a very famous comic cover if you've heard of the fantastic four check this out this one's got to be worth a bit of moolah bucks because this one is the very original, very first, look at that, number one, people. This is the first ever Fantastic Four comic. And it's super famous. And look at this. It is such an awesome layout. It's playing with depth. It's playing with height and size. And it just sort of jumps out at you. Plus, look at that, signed by Stan Lee, the man himself. Now, you've had a look at this. I want you to tell me if there are any similarities between this and this one. Oh, it's the Ghostbusters. Hang on a second. What's going on here? I can see a few similarities right here. I mean, come on. Look at the way this monster is sort of like leaning over. Oh, we'll get a yellow color so we can see it a bit better. Leaning over there. It's got his hand on the ground. And then the other one sort of reaching up and grabbing one of these characters up there. And um, all these other characters are hanging around just going, Oh, we got to beat this guy. All right. So, I mean, that's cool. They're like, they have a few similarities. But hang on a second. What's this? Hey, can you see that there's a bit of a reoccurring theme right now? Um, this one is a later edition of Fantastic Four. Look at this. This one is... Number 264. So 263 issues later, they went, you know what? That was such a cool original cover. Let's bring that back. So 
these comic artists here are paying what we call homage, right? Homage is, it's not kind I mean, yeah, it's copying, but it's like saying, this is a great compliment. I think that the original artist who did this is so good. I want to go at that, right? Look at this. Hang on a second. Someone else, is they're having another go at it later. And hey, that's not even the Fantastic Four. You can't pull a Swifty on me. I know Deadpool when I see him. Look at that. It's just Deadpool in a wig, isn't it? What's he doing? He's pretending to be all four characters because we know that, like, you know, Deadpool likes a bit of comedy there, don't we? Ha, 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 ha. So, you can see that all four of these covers have the same sort of layout. We've got our creature down there. We've usually got somebody hanging out down in the bottom left-hand corner there. You know, they're, they're, they're a little bit bigger than the other characters because that's like in the foreground. We've got another character down here. And look, in each one, they are, they're tied up with rope, okay? So, it's like, you know, they're paying tribute to these other... Um, comic artists who've done it and that's what we're going to be doing today okay so we are going to be putting you on a comic cover and we're going to do it like this grab your pencils ink eraser don't forget your piece of paper get creative have a blast Oosh, tv's cartooning class let's go right um so for this let's have a look at yeah, okay. Well, first of all, what's the layout like? Okay, usually we draw on paper like that here at Ush TV. Nah, this one's a comic, all right? So today, let's um, grab your piece of paper and put it in like, what's that called? What's that format called? Um, portrait? Yeah, it's portrait mode, isn't it? Um, portrait mode here. And um, what I'm going to do is I use, where is it? Animators use this thing. If you look in my little window, this is called a color race and it is a light blue pencil that we use to sketch our construction lines. You don't have to do this. If you want to just wait until I've done my construction lines, then grab your pen or pencil and start drawing in. Totally fine. But the way that professionals do it is we're going to rough some stuff out first and then we're going to go over it. Okay, so if you are doing construction lines with me right now, keep your lines nice and rough, okay? Because we're gonna, you can rub them out later, okay? And if you're drawing on the iPad, maybe make a little, um, make an extra layer and it can be your construction line layer that you can just turn off later. All right, so look, our character's here, right? It's sort of like, you know, it's coming out from a hole in the ground and it's got kind of a big head. Now, you can make your character whatever you want, but, you know, we'll just sort of go for the rough the rough construction lines first. And up the top, I'm going to leave a bit of space because, look, on all of these, they've got the writing up the top there, okay? So I'm going to leave a, a bit of space where we can write our, um, where we can have our comic um, title and we're going to have our monster there and they're going to be sort of breaking out of the ground now could be anywhere they could be breaking out of ice they could be in a city could be like you know full-on um jungle or something like that it can be wherever you want um this is your picture now i'm gonna have um i think i'll have you know what i might this character here down there bottom left i might have somebody up here right this is going to be you um so I'm going to rough this out. It's going to be a little stick person. And like I said, I like flight. So I'm going to put, I'm not going to put their legs hanging down like that. A good way to show somebody's flying is put their foot back like that and have their other knee kind of bent because you wouldn't like stand on one leg. That kind of shows that, you know, this way it looks like they're hovering in the air and I'm going to have their arm out. You know, and one arm can sort of be bent. So they're like, whoa, um, holding their arm back. And a good way to show that somebody is flying is you can just put a little shadow underneath them on the ground. Now, keep these lines really rough because they're only construction lines. And you know what? Yeah, yeah, it could be kind of cool to fight something alone, but let's have another of your team members. Or it could be another version of you. Maybe you can, like, duplicate yourself. And you know what? I think that that's good enough. I think I'm done with my construction lines. Um... 
Right, so if you would like to grab your pen or marker or like, you know, press a bit harder in your pencil, let's go for this together. Um, let's have a look. Actually, let's have a think. I want to hear from you before I go and, you know, tell you all the stuff that I'm doing. <clears throat> Are you a superhero? Maybe you're actually the super villain, like you're this big monster in the circle going, ha 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 ha, I'm going to smash up this city. And maybe your enemies are all these superheroes trying to stop you. Me, personally, I'm a superhero kind of guy. So I am going to be these, you know, I think I'll do myself, um, I might do myself down this bottom left and I'll have a, a girl, like she can be the flying character in this and she can have some like superpowers and be doing some stuff. And here's an important one. What is the enemy we are fighting? And it's good to make this personal because if you've had a think about what superpowers you would have, a really cool thing to do is make your enemy like, gonna, it's going to be difficult to defeat them, all right? Like, it would be cool if your enemy has some sort of thing that's related to who you are, okay? So, for example, think about some of uh, the things that you in your real life may struggle with. Do you not like doing homework? Maybe uh, this this uh, creature could be like a really smart creature that tries to make you, you know, feel stupid like you can't get the answers to something and it uses mind powers. And so that's your weakness that you've really got to battle through it with. Or maybe you have something else in your life that you find kind of difficult, right? So what you might want to do is project that into this creature, okay? Personally, I mean, I'm not going to uh, tell everybody this, so shh, keep it on the down low. Um, I've got a bit of a problem with junk food, so I could always put something like like a giant like donut monster or something that I've got to fight. You know what? I might actually do that. Let's. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna make this not just a donut. I'm gonna make this like a junk food monster. And so that's going to be super fun because junk food, I like drawing it and there's all these different types that I can put in there and I'm going to have to fight my battle and do my hardest and go, no man, I'm going to fight you. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to get poxy and make myself shoot broccoli or anything at it like that. No, 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 no. Just because it's a junk food monster doesn't mean I can't shoot missiles and smash it up. Anyway, enough of my talking. Let's get to this. Um... First of all, I think I might draw my monster because I've just talked about it. So that's going to be pretty fun. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. And um, let me think, what are some really cool, like, monstery junk food things I could do? Oh, I know instantly. Look at this shape already. What if its head is like kind of like an ice cream head? That'd be pretty cool. And I'm going to leave a bit of space here because I might want to overlap this character's arms or something. So what if I had like this? Oh, and then it can like to show that it's on the ground. It's like there can be some splattering ice cream dribbling down off its face. Um, yeah, I reckon that's pretty cool. That's a good start. And let me just taper a bit of this off right here. Um, uh-huh. All right, cool. And um, what else would I have on my character right now? If this is going to be made like lots of junk food and things like that, I might have, let me see. Oh, you know, let's keep going with the ice cream first of all. I'm going to have sprinkles on it. All right. And let's have some sprinkles on this creature. These sort of log things, they're cool. Um, and... Oh, I'm going to make it like angry because in the, um, in the original little comic things that we saw, hang on, where are they? I thought I had them down below me earlier. No, I must not. Um, let's use a bit of reference material right there. Hang on. Let me just grab one of these so we can, you know, have a, have a bit of a draw of what that comic cover looks like. I'm going to just chuck it below me down here. Okay, there, 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 there. Oh yeah, we'll use the Ghostbusters one, no worries. Um, cool beans. All right, got our monster there. And um, 
it's sort of its head is going that way okay so i'm gonna give it oh maybe it could have like some sort of like what about if it was like lollipop eyes i'm gonna give my one lolly like what are you doing in your one it might not be a uh, an ice cream monster or something like this um your one might be you know a super you might even want to choose a, a super villain that you've seen before, like Venom or something like that. I'm just going to make mine go... Rawr, and look at that. Blur, and it's dribbling a bit. And I'm going to give it some sharp teeth too. What sort of... You know what? the um, it's, its teeth could be made of like splintered candy canes or something like that. So I can put little stripes on them. Get creative. Every time you're drawing... Just, um, don't just draw normal stuff. Have a think about what's the most creative thing you could do with anything you're drawing at the time. Okay, cool. We got out the, the, the f top of our ice cream monster. And what can we give it for arms, I wonder? Oh, here we go. Like, because it is Ghostbusters down there, let's give it like marshmallow arms. And... Oh, I got a good idea. I got a good idea. This character actually is going to be shooting up that direction. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it like a melty, like one of its arms is melting because why? Yes. Because our character is like burning its arm. It's like this bit of its arm is on fire. And so this marshmallow has started to melt like that. And it's like, Wah! It's going to be an angry monster. Um, cool. All right, sweet. So if it's got marshmallow arms, and I'm going to do this bit now where it's busting out of the ground. So a good way to draw something if it's busting out of the ground is draw cracks. So you just put some zigzags. Look at this. And zigzag, zigzag, zig. And you can like put little smaller ones. Each, each bit gets smaller and smaller, right? Because it's like coming out of the ground and this ground looks a bit thin so you can just thicken it up watch 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 look each bit of that you can make it 3d so it actually looks like the road or, or something that's cracking out of there because if you just do spikes like that oh it's a bit thin but look at this boom suddenly our creature's coming up out of the road or wherever it's coming from um let me see now all right i'm just gonna not only sprinkles, come on, come on, people. Not gonna lie, I like my ice cream. So instead of just that, I'm gonna give it like flavors and layers. It could have like chocolate coming down off its head as well. It's like a big ice cream monster. Um, what do you usually put on the top of your ice cream? Yeah, let's um, let's put a cherry. Maybe the cherry's like. I don't want to. I don't want to get up here because I want to keep that clean where our character's shooting. I don't want to make that kind of like i don't want to make it too messy so you can't tell what's going on so i'll put a cherry there um ugh. this does not look like a very um nice ice cream it's like it looks like one of the <laughs> summer's coming back looks like one of those ones that you see in the summertime you know when it's been like there for half of the day and you can tell that some little kid dropped their ice cream out the front of messina like you know, at 11 o'clock, but now it's three in the afternoon and things like half melted on the ground. And you're like, ugh, you don't even feel like eating ice cream when you look at that. All right, that's enough of my monster for now. I'm going to draw um, a character here. Now, before I draw myself, let's see. Um, if I was, you know, like maybe a 10 year old girl, what would I want to um, look like? I'm going to start with. Her nose just like that sort of little s shape and I'm gonna put her mouth there because she's actually she's actually kind of enjoying this all right she's like yeah we're killing monsters come on now and then you know you can give her a couple of little eyelashes like that and what sort of hairstyle does she have I'm not very good at drawing girls hair I've had a go at um you know what the hardest thing is to do you know Elsa's hair how it's plaited man 
impossible. I've watched tutorials on that. It's so difficult. If anybody knows how to, um, if anybody out there knows how to draw a good, um, a good plat, let me know. Um, cool. And you know what? What sort of a uh, uniform would you wear? Because superheroes usually have uniforms, right? So maybe this one, she can have shoulder pads. And, and this, you know, arm can come. We're just going to bend it down. And see, you don't have to exactly draw over everything, um, over your construction lines. They're just kind of there to remind you where stuff is. In fact, I might even, just for you lovely people out there, I might get my construction lines right here and I'm going to make them a bit lighter for you all so that you can um, kind of see, you can still kind of see them, but you know, they're not going to take up the majority of the drawing. Okay, cool. Uh, and we get to back to our girl. What's her name? If you're drawing this, uh, this character, I mean, it's not me. I'm in the bottom left of this picture. So... I wonder what her name would be. Now, is she going to have short, long hair? Maybe she can have like, you know what? Let's get creative. Maybe she can have like fire hair. And that's her, What? that's one of her powers because she's shooting fire. All right. And so if we're doing that, look at this. When you draw flames, you can have like little bits coming off the side of your flames. So, and even some sparks and things like that. Make her look a bit, you know. Bit superhero y. Cool. And now I'm going to put one arm straight because when you shoot something, right, you're not going to go pew, 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 pew. You're going to go <gasps> and you're going to actually extend your arm out all the way. Acha. Now, here's a little thing uh, animator's tip don't draw exactly along the same way. Look at that. That arm does not look dynamic. What we do is your arm actually. Your shoulder gets thinner as you go. So look at this. Boom. Actually, that wasn't the greatest. Let's see. There you go. Make it a little bit better. There we go. They're actually not going parallel to each other. And I put her. And if you um, have trouble drawing hands, just look at your own hands sometimes. Just copy that. All right. And she's going to be throwing that out. Actually, here's another thing. I'm not going to do it like that because I wouldn't throw a flame at somebody like that. I go like this. Look at my hand. Ready? <gasps> ah! Yes. Spreads the fingers out. I'm going to get my eraser for a second. Look at this. And it's going to it's going to look so much better and more dynamic if you go. Ah! See that? And then I can just have her flames coming from there. Um, I'll do them in a minute. But for now, let's, um, yeah, she can have a belt. Superheroes can have belts. And then I'm going to do this front leg crossed over, I think. Yeah. And then give her like little superhero booties. Because, you know, your uniform needs some booties. And then that leg, instead of going straight down with the leg, I'm going to sort of tuck it back as well. So it kind of looks like she's moving forward. She's like, you know, she's not the kind of superhero to be shy or anything. So she's actually moving forward uh, and shooting this monster's arm. We're going to have to think in a minute of like why this monster um, is getting its arm shot at. Maybe she's like saving a friend or rescuing something. Cool. Good enough. Uh, okay. So let's have a little look. Let's truck out and have a little look at our picture right now. Beep, 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 click. All right. All right. This is looking okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, come on. Let's, let's, let's see why this, um, why, uh, she's shooting at some. Okay. Now here's a little thing. I've said that we're going to leave this space for the title. However, a cool thing you can do is overlap. So if I'm going to call it, you know, blah, I'm going to draw the monster's hand in front of it first. And, um, and then I am going to be writing stuff underneath it. What do we got here? How does this hand look? You know, I, 
I'm going to need a hand with this one. All right. Sorry for the dad jokes there right now. How's that hand look? I need to copy. Um, what's the best way to do this? Bear with me one second. I'm going to make it like that. And I'm going to add one of these. Plick. And I'm going to do that. And I tell you, mask you off. Boom. All right. That's better. Let's copy. Okay. We're going to copy this hand because I'm not very good at drawing hands. So I'm getting this awesome comic book artist who drew it originally to show me how to draw a hand. I've got... You know, I've got some flames coming up from here. And then I've got its thumb can be like that. Boom. See that there? And then I've got like one, two. So you can do this. You can make them kind of like beanie things almost. They're just like big beans. But look, overlap. See that? If you leave it like that, it's a bean. But if you do that, it looks a bit more 3D. It's going to be overlapping. Um, okay, it can be holding something or somebody. Uh, who is our superhero um, going to be saving in this? Hmm. Mm. Um, what do we like? What do we like? What's worth saving, people? Let me see if anybody's writing anything in the chat right now. No, nah, quiet down there. Um, I am going to save, what would a fire person have? Maybe like a, a fox or something like that. And this, this fox can be like, it can be like her, what, what's it called when, um, when somebody has, um, a, 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 a familiar, all right? A familiar is what you call like an animal or whatever that's your friend and you can get it to go and do stuff for you and it helps you out. And this fox, it can kind of, it'll be a smart one. It's just not not, not like a normal fox. You know, like, um, oh, what's his name? Is it Rocket Raccoon in, um, in Guardians of the Galaxy? Um, you know, he's a bit smarter than a normal raccoon. He can talk and stuff. And this one... To show that the fox is struggling, I'm going to put a foot up on there. Oh, got to watch out, Foxy, because <laughs> I think you're going to get flamed if you're not careful. Um, so, in order to save our little fox, you know what? I'm just going to cheat and erase a bit here. She can be like hitting its thumb. She's like hitting its thumb and it's going to try to like... Or I might even... You know what? That foot's getting in the way. I don't want any chance that people think that my poor little fox is going to get its little foot flamed off. So, bah, bah, take that thumb. Flame! And look, look at this. Even though flames usually go up, you can have flames going out all sorts of di different directions. Flame! Gah! The noises help when you draw, people. Feel free to make as much noise. If you're drawing a battle, I want you to be like, bah, boom. It is so much better for when you're drawing. Trust me. Um, cool. There's our fox. And you know what? Let's give it some dirty nails. Just so, because so it doesn't look too cute. You know, like, give it some cracked nails. Ooh, yuck. You can have some, like, spots and grime and stuff under its nails. So, I mean... There's a nail there. So it looks like this. And that's an ice cream monster. It doesn't look too cute. It doesn't look like it washes its hands much. Um, cool. And we'll give our little fox some nicely colored paws. Now, feel free to go on with yours. You don't have to be drawing the same thing as me. What sort of stuff are you into? What are you drawing right now? Um, because... There we go. There's a little bit of shadow. How are we going right now for time? Mm, VR. We're going all right. Okay. We can go for a little bit longer. Uh, I am going to draw me as a character down the bottom. And then I'll, um, we'll do our title. And then I'll color this. So if you would like to draw, look at this here. What I'm going to do is... 
you know, if I had the back of my head, look, if I'm wearing a hat, I'm just standing there. That's pretty boring. I'm like going, hey, look, there's a monster there. No, 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 no. We're going to cheat it. This is what's called cheating. I'm going to do the side of my, um, I'm going to draw the side of my face. You know what? Draw my sunnies there. Maybe I'm not even a superhero in this. Maybe I'm like a bystander going, oh no, a monster is attacking the city. Nah. Let's make it that I'm a superhero. And I'm going to give like a big yell. Ah! <laughs> I'm going to go crazy with it. Why not? Um, there. And why am I going crazy? Because I am a beefcake. Ah! I have torn all of my clothes off and I am my shirt is shredded. And my big muscles, they are sticking out of my shirt. And I have my giant muscles here. And I am going to smash this monster. Kind of like Dragon Ball, you know, when they just go crazy. And just like everything tears. Look at that. And then my clothes can be all ripped. Hanging off my arms. And I've just gone insane. Roar! Good enough. Can't be bothered thinking of a superpower, so I'm just going to make myself muscly. Um, there you go. Give myself some uh, pecs down the bottom. Good enough. Ah, I'm just like angry. Maybe this monster's like smashing my car or something. And do some more of those bean shapes. Look, one, two, three. And if you overlap them, look. It suddenly looks like the monster's hand is sticking out of this hole in the ground. And we can show everybody that it's a giant hole in the ground by like colouring in there black. So it'll be looking like it comes out. Um, I know you might not be able to like think of it or, or see what I mean right now, but don't worry. We're going to be colouring it in two shakes of a lamb's tail. All right. Um, let's get back to shush. What are you beeping at me for, computer? No, I'm your master. You must do what I say. Stop it. Um, okay. Can you not? I'm going to turn that volume down. Hang on a sec. Brrr, you are silenced. Beep as much as you want now. Okay. What are we going to name our comic Kittens and Cats? No, we're not actually going to name it Kittens and Cats. But we need to think of a name for it. And I haven't thought of anything. So I'm going to call it... What should we call it? Kapow. I'm just going to call it Kapow, all right? It's going to be like, I'm going to get a slightly darker color, just so you can see. Um, K-A-P-O-W. Look at that. K-A-P-O-W. Here's a little trick that I like to do. K-A-P. So P is the middle letter. So I'm going to start in the middle with the middle letter so I don't run out of space. So I don't go K-A-P-O, uh-oh, run out of space. Look, if I count so that I have my uh, middle letter in the middle, K, then I can say what's on this side of it, A, boom. And then that's a K. And again, you can cheat that just so people can tell what it is. O, and they're overlapping because it's a comic. Double your kapow. And just to show that I mean it, I'm going to put an exclamation mark. And look, just to show that I double mean it, instead of a, a normal zero in the middle, I'm going to put another smash just so it looks great. Um, up the top, as you will have seen in our comics earlier. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Come on then. Up here. Look at that. It's your money. How much are you paying for it? 40 pence. Look at this one. It's 10 cents. I bet that's not worth 10 cents anymore. It's worth millions of bucks. Um, and, you know, you can write some other things up there. Number 48. This one I'm going to be... N-O dot means like number. I can do the hashtag number one. It's the first ever of these comics. And I'm going to make it $50. And 50 cents. <laughs> uh, fitty fitty. Cool, and you can put anything else you want up there, but this is sort of what the cover of your comic is going to look like. 
And down the bottom, do we have anything? Let's see, down here, down here. Oh, that's what I almost forgot. Speech bubbles. Um, now, listen up and listen good kiddly winks. If you are going to do a speech bubble, watch. This is so important, I'm going to take a blank page to teach you, okay? Listen to me, and it's so serious, I'm going to take my glasses off for you now. Okay, if you're going to do speech bubbles, here is what a lot of people do wrong. They say, you know, here's your little character there, and your little character is going to say something. They say, here's the speech bubble, they say, my name is... Keith, oh no, running out of space, there's Keith, amazing, uh, uh, man, I'm running out of space, oh, terrible, no, you don't do that, why do you not do this, because you are a sick artist, and you think of things beforehand, i.e., ready? I'm going to show you this and you can use this for the rest of your life because I learned it when I was your age and I still use it. Instead, you do your writing first. Hi, my name is Darky. Look at that. And now you can write as much as you want and then after check it out then all you have to do is circle your writing boom or if he's yelling it out you can be like my name is Taku. all you have to do is trace around it okay so what do you do let me hear you think about it for a second that's right you write your words first blah 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 and then you circle it after with your speech bubble. Or you write your words first, and if your character's thinking about something, because their mouth is actually closed, hmm, thinking about something, you can do like thought bubbles there too. They're thinking about something, okay? Or it can be, that looks a bit weird, they can be like coming from it there. Hmm, they're thinking about something. So you write your words first, then do the speech bubble. Cool? All right. <laughs> I know you are going to be using that each and every time now because I'm going to be checking. All right. Now, of course, I've not left much room for speech bubbles, but let, let's just, um, for argument's sake, so we can practice it, put some speech in here. Whoops. And I'll just make sure I'm on the right layer to do this. There we go. She's going to be saying, take. And then she yells out that. Take that! Boom! And then... And I can even do the speech bubble sort of a bit behind her. Check it out, that's overlapping now. Um, and her thumb looks a bit weird. But you know what? Whatever! You wouldn't have noticed it if I didn't say it, would ya? Hey? <laughs> um, Alright, right, 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 right. Now, I'm going to do the cover of my comic and... Uh, feel free to do the cover of yours along with me. However, you don't have to be uh, doing the exact same thing as I am. You don't have to be doing everything the same as me at the same time. Um, so long as you are drawing, I don't mind what you draw or in what sequence you draw it, okay? Because that's how much I care about your progression. Because it's about progress, not perfection, people. Um, and so long as you are drawing and you're having a good time, that's what this is about, right? I don't want you to, um, to worry that you're not getting it exactly the same as what you've seen on the screen, because I bet you have already learnt some things today, but I bet that you've learnt more than you think you have. You just haven't realized it. Okay. So the more that you practice the better you are going to get, I guarantee it. And um, also, if you practice a bit of this once we uh, finish my YouTube episode, more things that I've said are going to um, pop out at you. Number one, hashtag 50 cent, 
No. You know what? Who needs decimal points anyway? It's $5,000. <laughs> Who wants to buy it? Hit me up in the comments section. I'll give you a... Um, I'll give you a special discount of 4,999. Wait, is that even a thing? Yes, $4,999.95. For you, only today. Um, and I'm gonna draw the outline of my comic. And, ooh, I just thought of something cool. Look, hang on, he can get cut off, right? Because that's the spine of the comic. Bye-bye. Bye bye. We no need the back of your arm. We know what's going on already. Thank you for coming. Look, the bottom bit. Why didn't he do it straight? You know why? Smart people. Because tit, it's a comic book. Tit, and comic books have pages. Look at all these lovely pages. Cool. It literally looks like a comic. You want to see that again? How did he do that? You ask. He did it like this. He says. Um, if you draw a book, bup, 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 bup. look, if you want to draw pages, you can just go make a bunch of lines and then go one under the other. Easy, right? You can even turn it into like, you know, a flying book from Harry Potter or something. Look, it has a puzzle and the goza of fozza. And it's flying. You know why it's flying? Because we've drawn a uh, shadow on the ground. It's the worst book I've ever drawn. Forgive me. All right. Now, we don't need no more construction lines because we got this thing perfect. Oh, and I've accidentally drawn a construction line on this thing. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at our comic cover right now. Um, oh, I've drawn the blue on the wrong level. You know what? Don't care. I'll blow away a couple of them, but I... I'm going to make a layer underneath and I'm going to color this. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, I might, I might sort of call that the end of the lesson right now. Okay. So if you would like to keep on drawing or if you just like doing black and white comics, feel free to stop the video, pause the video, go get yourself a drink of, um, superhero, uh, I don't know, whatever, whatever superheroes drink, feel free to go and, um, yeah, do something else. But if you would like to stick around and check out a bit of coloring that I'm about to do, I'm going to see if I can like color this as quick as I possibly can. Okay. So it's going to be a speed color job here. And like last week, I am also going to be adding some shadows to it because it's going to make it pop. Trust me. All right. Here we go. Let me just, I'll zoom out a little bit, a little bit more so I can get the whole comic on the screen. Is that working? Yeah, that'll work. Okay, cool beans. Now, mm, 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 mm. color schemes again, like we said last time, we don't want to just like make this thing look like a, uh, like a pizza. So what we're going to do is we are going to Hmm. Choose a couple of different colors, all right? Pink. And I'm not even going to bother coloring in the lines. Pink. Uh, why am I doing pink, people? That's right. What's that? Does anybody know the name of that ice cream that's like all different flavors? Yes, it's Neapolitan. Um, all right, so we've got a bit of pink on this character. Now, we've got... A fox on screen. The fox is going to need to be a certain color as well. So, look, I'll just make this foxy. Um, I'm going to make this fox the same color as me. Why? Because I'm also ginger. I'm also a bit foxy myself. There we go. Um, and, oh yeah, my sunnies can be the same color. Look. And now we're just going to go around while you've got either the pencil in your hand or while you've got the color going on your iPad, just go around and look at some other things that you can maybe color the same color while you're holding that one. No, cherry is totally not orange. Look, here are some lightning bolts. Zappity zap, zap, zap. Um, you know what? Might make that kapow bit there. Same color too. Boom. 
And of course, that blue is over the top of it. But you know what? You know what, smart people? Ha, 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 Gav. I'm actually going to use that blue. I meant to the whole time, you know? What, you didn't think that I did? No, it was part of the whole plan to draw on the wrong layer. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Well, you too. All right. Uh, come on, people. Here we go. And I'm going to now want those eyes different colors. But boom. A bit of like... He's looking a bit ice creamy already, isn't he? Is... Hang on. I think vanilla goes in the middle. Um, and I can have... What color? Yeah, I'll just give myself blue hat. Bop. Boom. And I'm not going to spend too long on this. Um, and you know what? Let's get some red in. Let's let's go. Let's go a little bit hot. Because she does indeed have a firebolt, which is going to make us look at whatever this um, color is doing. Okay, so maybe you can have a bit of red in her hair too and flames on the back. Boom, boom, boom. Look, she got the fire. I don't know. Do you think this works with this color? I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite convinced on this. I'm not quite convinced on the red, people. I think it's like detracting a bit. Let's tone it down a little bit. Um, hang on, let me get my red. And again, you don't even worry about what I'm doing. I'm just keeping you company now. You just keep on drawing on your thing and it'll look awesome. And I'll keep on drawing on my thing. And uh, we'll compare notes in the end and see how much better yours is than mine. <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, K A P. I'm going to do them all together. You know what? Lazy. I'm a lazy boy. There we go. There we go, there we go. And a single click. Boom. No? Oh, come on. What is happening? Bruh. Have I been drawing with some sort of like... Oh, there you go. There you go. You thought I couldn't do it. You thought it couldn't be done. Um, Good. Good, 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 good. Kapow! That's looking a bit better. It's not so hot. Look, let's, just for argument's sake match a bunch of these together she's got red boots she's got red gloves same color as that um i can have a red shirt why not why not i'll leave a bit of skin there psh, 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 psh. now can you tell i don't really care so much about coloring things in um it just doesn't interest me so much so i mean i'm doing this just because it looks good in the end, but I'm way more interested in drawing. So if you would prefer to like, you know, draw five things instead of just doing one and then spending a whole bunch of time coloring it, I recommend that that's what you do. But if you would like something nice for the fridge or if it's like somebody's birthday coming up and you want to turn the thingy into a card for them, um, do that. Okay, you know what I've got? I've accidentally somehow got object drawing on. Bear with me one moment, please, people. Properties. No, turn off. <laughs> Great. We're back in business, kids. All right. Now I should be able to do that. Now I should be able to do that. Look, this is going to make things a bit quicker. What color? It's got to be brown. Let's get some chocolate in there. Chucky wucky. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that's a bit dark. I won't be able to see that much. Hang on, let me dial that up a bit lighter. It's not even chocolate now. Whatevs. There we go. Blip. And this would be so much easier if I wasn't... It'd be easier if I was just doing like point and click, but because I'm actually like doing the colors on a different layer, that's what's making my life a little more difficult here. But that's okay. Um, I've been enjoying this little session, so. 
And come on, let's um, let's take this one. All right, let's do it. Let's finish it off. All right. And we'll just get her the same color as me. I'm not even going to bother with the eyes and the teeth or anything. Look at that. It's good enough. Um, and all right. Now, you know what? We will use a little bit of reds and things here because it's like you kind of want to, you want it to look a bit sort of like it's ice creamy and you know, different colors that an ice cream or something interesting like that has. I should just have somebody else come in and color this, hey. I should be like, hey, um, come here at like, you know, at about 30 minutes into my YouTube thing and I'll get off this um, seat and you can just come in and color it for me. Does anybody want to do that for me? Do you want to be my colorist? Please. I don't like coloring, I'm lazy. Okay. Last one, but not least, we are just gonna color everything else. Watch this. I am going to make the cover of this comic book yellow, and then just color everything else in so it looks semi-okay. Boom. <laughs> that looks terrible, I'm so sorry. Um, oh, you know why it looks terrible? Because everything that was white just stayed as white. No, you need a white body for this monster, Gav. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, anything else? Yep, up there. Cool, 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 cool. Um, all right, and I'm just going to do a couple more details and we're almost done. And if you are still with me right now, I can't believe it. Congratulations. You've made it all the way through to the very end where this thing is going to get shaded and you can see the final product. But I'm curious, why are you still here? Are you here because you're learning something still? Or are you here because you're just kind of enjoying doing your own thing and, um, and I'm keeping you company. Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with hanging out and um, drawing with friends. I do it. I do it. Sometimes if somebody comes over, we just sort of go, um, hey, I got some paper. You want to draw some stuff? Let's have an art jam. It's kind of really fun to do that sometimes, isn't it? I mean, you know, there's only so many times you can be like, Hey, you want to come over and play video games? And you go, yeah, okay. All right, what do you want to play? Okay, we've played that 10 million times. Come on, draw some stuff together. Boom. There you go, that's a bit better. Um, and last but not least, I'm going to just like make this look a little bit more dramatic by, um, yeah, I'm going to do my shadows now okay so like i tell people if you want to do shadows on something if you've got colored pencils just pick where you're going to be doing your shadows right and it's usually underneath where you know the, the if the light's up the top it'll be underneath and so your shadows are going to be um sort of down the bottom or something and so you just press a bit harder look at that boom I might even make this a bit more, a bit darker. Yes, yes, yes. Boom, boom. Okay. And, you know, there's her shadow under there. Look, shadows under where its fingers are. Shadows on the bottom, shadows on the bottom. Shadow there, there, there. Just chuck them out, go crazy. Oh, she's, her hair went the same color as the background, but I like it. It looked good. Now the fox needs a bit of detail i think so i'll come back to him in just a little second him or her could be a lady fox uh, shadow 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 can you see how it's sort of even though i'm not having a particularly good drawing day today these shadows are making things look a bit more 3d 3d 
Um, and you can have it underneath the lettering too. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a pretty, um, I'm gonna say it's not my best work. I'm, I'm happy to say that, um, you know, and I apologize if you think I was gonna draw something better than this today, but guess what? Doesn't matter because I did it. I've drawn it and it's done. So I can just do another one next time instead. It's fine. Doesn't doesn't matter at all if this thing isn't um, the best thing I've ever drawn. Not everything is going to be. And I'm just going to put some lines there. So it just kind of like, you know, goes, oh, there's a monster there. Um, good enough. Good enough. I'm like, like I said, I'm almost done with this. So, you know. Doesn't matter if I think it's the greatest or not, but I think right now, um, I can't be bothered drawing anything more on this. Oop, black tea. Uh, so I might just, li before I destroy the entire thing, I might just leave it at this, hey. Um, I might, and I'll just cut a, I might just leave it at that. Um, but today, did you, uh, have a little discover of anything uh, that might have been a technique that you were using before that maybe you think, you know what, I think I've found a better technique for that. I'm pretty sure you would have varied it up a bit. For example, you would not have drawn me down the bottom left hand corner. You probably drew something else. Could have been yourself, could have been one of your mates. Um, but the whole point of this exercise is to vary it up, change uh, some stuff out. If you want to like sub substitute something else, uh, feel free to do that. So as long as you are having fun. Now, how did you go today? Did you uh, learn anything that you're going to be taking away for next time? Um, because we do this every single week. And if you join our lesson every week, I'm sure that, you know, couple of weeks time you're going to be a much better artist than when you first began so everybody thank you very much my name's g-man you are awesome and uh i'm gonna finish this up now but don't you stop all right you keep on going even if you are just doing black and white or if you want to practice your construction lines and have a go at drawing something else coming out the ground could be a potato could be um something else it could be like a monster that you know just go on to like something like uh, Google Images and look up something that you'd really like to draw and copy it, okay? Here, I told you I'm going to put that hole in the ground. There it is. Big cracks coming out. It's like dark. There we go. You know what? Let's go crazy with it. I've already, I'm, I'm not happy with it, so I might as well. You know, that looks better. That, you know, instantly that kind of looks better, doesn't it? Like... Get, let's get heavy with it. Put like big cracks and like bits of rock flying out. Some big heavy lines. Yeah. And then, you know what? I'm just going to put black there. Why? I don't know. Maybe the, the ground sort of busted out there too. Okay, cool. Um, that's it. Uh, I will catch you next time, but thank you for joining me and thank you for hanging out while we drew together. I had a, uh, a super fun time and uh, yeah, I'm going to pull the plug on this bad boy right now and go get myself a glass of milk, something to drink. All right. See you later, people. All the best. Peace.